Hello there and welcome to Farming Simulator 2013 with me, Stucco Gloss. How are ya? Right, let's kick off our career back in Hugginstead. In the previous episode, we... Oh, we done a front loader mission, which was awesome. First time ever <laughs> in the 44 episodes it's taken me to do it. Um, and also, uh, we planted some corn and we harvested some corn. So uh, this episode we're going to get into rain baling as I promised and um, we might also set up some uh, solar panels as well. A lot of people have been asking about the solar panels so that's what we're going to be doing. Oh my beautiful windmill. Okay, let's uh, see where we left off. Actually, I need to move this wool and uh, just knock that off the metal slab. There we go. It's uh, an effective way of doing it. <laughs> okay, the, uh, the the cows are okay, so I've just done that. There's our corn harvester, and this is the one I wanted to find. So we're going to harvest this. Um, sorry, we're going to cultivate this uh, this field, but we need a lot of straw. One, because we want to do uh, rain bales, and two, because we need some straw for the cows. And as I said before, it's all about the cows. So we're going to. We're going to jump into a, a decent tractor, not this one. What other tractor have we got? Uh. There we go. We're, we're jumping to the Lamborghini. Uh, we're going to drop off this... Drop off this cutter. Uh, this um, cedar. Uh, we fold the cedar. Can we fold it? Yeah, fold. There we go. I knew you said the Lamborghini was a bad boy. I love the Lamborghini. Can you see the uh, the red, white, and green stripes? Hell yeah! We're pimping some Lamborghini tractor. So let's uh, check that there, and we we'll go get the cedar. So uh, how have you peeps been? There's only a few more episodes left of this season. I've already got some plans for the next season, so. Uh, Keep them coming. All the maps and uh, information that you guys got. They're amazing. Um, I've got a big list in my uh, in my desk diary to um, to check out before the se season two starts. Right, I was thinking of actually uh, planting wheat on the big field. And this looks already fertilised, so I guess all we need to do is uh, is seed. How does that look? Yep, yeah, I think that's definitely fertilised. Brilliant. Well, we could have a look and just check on. Uh, on Ewan cultivating that of the field. Come on, there we go. Yeah, yeah, that's unfertilized. The other one was fertilized. Brilliant. So as that's going on, like I said, let's just get out of there. Um, we're going to look at getting a few solar panels because we got the windmill, and we're going to go placeable objects. So we've got the green uh, bees. We've got greenhouses. Uh, the only thing we haven't got is solar collectors. So. They're 125, so I think I might buy two of these. And where are we going to put them? I think we should keep the energy together. Uh, one there. And one there. Now let's go see how that looks. Um, let's take a run over. Oh, buzz off. We'll have, a, have a look at our new solar panels. So this will be bringing in more money. Uh, not that we need a lot more money, but we haven't actually purchased any solar panels, so um, I wanted to do that before the uh, season finishes. Oh, isn't that a beautiful sound? Just take it in, peeps. Oh, okay. So these are the solar panels. And as you can see, they look... Uh, it's like an army type reflect... You know, um, like an army skin, you know? Like a desert army type thing. 
if that makes any sense to you guys. So it's on a on a a stone mound and all the wiring must be done underneath. So there you go. There's the shoulder collectors and it's pointing right at the clouds at the moment. <laughs> but that should be gener that should be generating uh, some good income. Actually, I didn't even check how much it uh, generates. Uh, tch -tch -tch. $190 an hour. And that was $2,000 an hour. So, um, oh, we've added uh, $380 an hour to our uh, bank account, which is great. Uh, the only thing is, we haven't got a lot of money now um, for the round baler. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off cultivating this field. Uh, and also we're going to wait for the field to be ready for harvest. So I'll fast forward time. And then, uh, actually I can't fast forward time that much because we're seeding. So, But uh, we should have enough. How much is the... Um, what do we want? I think we want the round baler. Baling technology. So the rain baler is 112, so we need another 60 grand. Um, that's no problem. Hopefully, we get 60 grand by the time uh, we come back. So uh, it'll be a quick, short second for you, and it should be a good 10 minutes for me. <laughs> okay, I was just been having a think. Um, as I can't fast forward time because of that, we've still we got loads of stock to sell. Um, so we've got some wheat. We've got corn and we've got potatoes. So let's uh, let's go sell some potatoes. There we go. Oh, we should fill this one up easy. So where's the best pro where's the best place to get the potatoes from? Let's have a check. Where's prices? There we go. So potatoes, 6.30 at the freight yard, 6, 6, 6.60 at the inn. So I guess that's where we're going. We're going to the inn. Now I've been there many, 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 many a time, so I know how to get there without the, uh, the whole sat-nav. Look at those lovely potatoes. Okay, I think Zachary's doing a good job over there in the Lamborghini. So, uh, guys, I, I've mentioned it in my last video. Uh, I've got a website up now with a forum and everything else and a TeamSpeak server. Um, if you haven't already, please go over and check it out and let me know your thoughts. Uh, please register to the forum. And um, I do check it. Uh, I'm on there most, well, most of the day normally at work, so... Um, you might catch me on the team speak, but uh, head on over, register, and um, upload your comments. Okay, sixty-one thousand liters of potatoes. So let's uh, go over to the inn. I wonder what is in this building, because there's always smoke coming from the chimney, but uh, you don't see anybody coming in or out. Weird. Right, let's head over to the end. I'll, uh, I'll pause it. You see me drive to the end many, many, many a times. So I'll see you when we get back at the end. Okay, here we are. We're coming up to the end. So come on then, peeps. Have a guess. Place your bets now. How much do you think this uh, large trailer load of potatoes at the end? Okay, so we're on six one seven fifty ish. Let's go. Oh wow. Oh you haven't got my coke here. <laughs> uh six one oh okay, nearly forty grand. That's uh Okay, we only have to get one more load of uh, potatoes and we've got ourselves a rain baler, which is awesome. So let's just quickly cheat and we're fast track our equipment back to 
the yard. And a little trick, once you fast track something, if you press uh, shift and tab, then you'll go straight to the tractor that you just fast tracked. So uh, Stocko's tip of the day. <laughs> I can remember when trying to connect these two trailers was such a pain. And you watch me struggle with it now. Yeah. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> oh, typical. If I didn't say anything, I would have done it the first time. There we go. Easy. Ish. Alright, you and still there. Uh, Still cultivating. I think Zachary we still seeding. Yeah, he's still going. And you see the potato pile hasn't really got down a lot. There we go. Well, guys, I'll see you back at the end. Nothing exciting's really happening, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, here we go. Um, I was just actually just thinking before uh, I got to the inn. If you plant all of the fields that we've got with uh, potato, then I'm sure that'd be close to a million pound harvest, you know. That'll because, um, you know, 40 it should be 80,000 pounds that we got just from that one field. So, uh, and it's not the biggest field either. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good harvest. Oh, go on then, car. So, uh, what I'm going to do then, guys, I'll, uh, well, actually, we'll take the trailers back. We'll fast track the trailers, and then we'll go get our, um, doo -doo -doo, our uh, baling machine. So, we'll reset that and that. And then we'll go to the shop. And buy ourselves the baler. Let's just turn the home beacon on. Let's get in the cab. This still probably is my favourite tractor in the whole game. I just love the look of it. It's not very quick, it's not very uh, pretty to look at, but I love it. It's what a tractor should look like, you know? When somebody uh, mentions the, the word tractor, they kind of think this is uh, the sort of boyhood tractor that you've always wanted. Come on. Also, uh, we need to empty the chicken um, coop uh, of eggs. A lot of people have been saying, Stocko, what about the eggs? Please, somebody think of the eggs. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll do that on the way back after getting the baler. Okay. So, open the shop. The round baler, the Comprima V180. There we go, and now we're skint again. And uh, we'll just go pick it up. Beautiful. Yeah, I thought I was driving Euro Truck Simulator then. I was thinking of, uh, where's my indicators? <laughs> Although I use a keyboard and mouse for this, and I use my Xbox 360 joystick for the uh, Euro Truck. Um, somebody asked uh, questions in the comments how to make silage. Um, I think I've done that in a number of videos, but um, if you're still unsure, let me know and I'll... I'll, um, I'll show you in the next episode. But basically, you just cut the chaff with a forger which I think as well somebody was saying that you can actually make silage out of grass 
Um, so you could actually just cut grass into a forage wagon and then uh, do silage that way. Right, we can uh, come out of there. Oh, it's quite small, isn't it? It's quite compact to what the other one looks like. Or is it just because the tractor's bigger? Let's have a look. Um, no, it seems quite small, really, doesn't it? Doesn't it doesn't seem as big as... Where is the square? Where's the square beta? Over there. Let's go... Uh, let's go check it out. I, I suppose it's the same sort of size, but then you've got this big rail thing on the back. Which makes it feel like it's a little bit longer. But, uh... I do love the detail of this game. So, guys, I will be back when that field is ready for harvesting. It'll be a few seconds, well, it'll be a second for you, and it'll probably be about 25 minutes for me. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you then. Okay, we're back, and uh, this field, lovely big field, is ready for harvesting. So we'll just get Zachary to go um, and harvest all this wheat. And he's going to he's gonna leave behind the goodness that we really, really need. And this is uh, this straw. So uh, I need to collect some straw from the with a forage wagon, and I also need we need to bale it using the rain baler. So let's go get the forage wagon. <laughs> Actually, let's go sort these chickens out because they're not giving me a break. They let me know that it's full of eggs that we need to uh, we need to clear. And uh, knowing that, but a lot of you guys have been letting me know. So what about the eggs? Okay, there is a. There's a lot of eggs. Okay, they're really loud. There should be one on the fence post. Yep. I'd love to know what chicken laid that one. Here's a question for you guys. What came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> uh, I bet the comments will be split 50-50 on that one. Right, it seems as I'm picking them up, they're laying them. Back it in. So welcome to uh, Egg Picking Up Simulation with me, Sucker Gloss. How are you? <laughs> 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 I better not give these ideas out to the simulation uh, uh, makers because um, no doubt they're going to make a, a simulation. And then uh, w once you clear this uh, this chicken coop, you know you go to the next level, and the chicken coop's bigger and it's got more bushes. You have to find all the eggs. It's a big hit at Christmas, apparently. <laughs> Some indie game de developer now is uh, is actually starting to think about it seriously. Do you know, I think we've got everything. I'm sure I've left one or two behind. There we go. I haven't checked what eggs we got on us now. Statistic. Um, whoa, did I say 315 eggs? Wow, we got 315 eggs. So, uh, we definitely need to sell the eggs. So, what are we doing? You're doing that. We better get. Oh, you've finished harvesting, uh, cultivating that field. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can park you. Yeah, you can see I've gone a bit quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> I'm not the best at reversing, unfortunately. There we go. Some pro reverse in there. So let's hook up the trailer because we need to unload you in and get rid of uh, you in seed. I'm not going to mention how uh, easy it is to hook this thing up. <laughs> or do I just mention how easy it is to hook this thing up? Oh god. 
dope. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. You're making me look silly. If I was good at editing, you know, I'd be, uh, I'd edit it this bit like. But we all know I'm not very good at editing, so. Okay, we're connected. Let's get connected. I think that's uh, an advert for something. Where's you in? Ah, right in front of me. I'm supposed to be getting the forage wagon. I'll have to get that down in a second. Okay, now what we could do with the um with the trailer, what I tend to do when harvesting wheat or canola is um move the trailer, I'll show you, in the in this position. Because the pipe's on the on the left hand side, if you move the trailer here, it will unload before it carries on. So uh that's a good little trick. Actually, I might be a bit. Oh. What is with me today? I've had a hard, busy day at work. That's what's there. Uh, that's what's wrong. There we go, peeps. That looks a bit better. So just leave that there, and that will um, eventually. Do I want you? No. No. No, but I want this guy in front to pick up the forage wagon, which should be around here somewhere. Let's put those forks down because we know how dangerous they are, <laughs> especially with me driving. So let's go get the forage wagon to pick up some straw for the cows. And, uh,. It makes the cows happy. Whoa. Uh, somebody left a message saying, Oh, I wish, in real life, you can just reverse up to a trailer and it automatically connects. You can set up the combine by yourself, press a button, and wait for it to be finished. <laughs> Without getting all the bug bites and the scratches and things in real life. I thought this is... I thought this is uh, realistic. I thought this is how it is in farming. I thought you don't really have to get out the tractor and uh, it does it all for you. So you can connect up to uh, to these things. The PTO just uh, magically comes out the back of the forage wagon into the back of the tractor. I thought that's how it works. Hmm. I'm sure I get a lot of hate comments now. Oh, Stocker, you don't know nothing. I'm only joking. I know how much you f how hard you farmers work. Work hard, play hard. That's what it's about. This is a pretty game, isn't it? Uh, especially when you play uh, Agricultural Simulator 2013 and then you play this. You do appreciate what Farming Simulator and how stable this graphics engine is compared to uh, the AgSim. But then when I play AgSim, I'm like, oh, look what they're trying to do. It's amazing what they're trying to do. It's just a shame that they can't do it. <laughs> if that makes sense. They're not doing what they're supposed to do. But they get there, they get there. They did with Agricultural 2012. Yeah, you know, that was a fairly stable version in the end. It all worked. So uh, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. Right then, let's collect up this straw. Yeah, I'm not going to fill this right up, um, but I am going to uh, probably fill it up to about half. Uh, 
There we go. So you can check on uh, Ewan there, 35%. I forgot, is that Ewan or Zachary? I think it's Ewan. I think Zachary's finished. Oh, they look alike, Ewan and Zachary. <laughs> They're always playing tricks on me. So this is how you get straw for the uh, for the cows. Uh, in order to get 100% milk production, you do need straw for the cows. Otherwise, I think it drops down to about 80%. And all the work that you get, you know, you put in for the cows, it's worth uh, giving them some straw. I do love the fact that um, you know. You need you need to do the basics in order to get you know to the to the end game stuff. As in, you need to you know to harvest wheat in order to get uh, straw for the for the cows, and then the money from the milk. I th I, I wish there was a little bit more to it for the for the sheep. Um, you know, maybe you have to give them water as well as, as grass. It just seems that sheep is a little bit too easy. I tell you, this Hurleyman tractor is uh, is by far the most powerful tractor I've got, I think, at the moment. This is really nippy. And uh, do you see the word at the moment? You know, we are going to get into some pow more powerful tractors in the next few episodes. In the next episode, I think I might buy one of these case, the case articulated tractors that I'll probably never use. But uh, the majority of you want the case tractor, so I'll buy it. And um, we'll have a drive around with it, we'll have a play, and then we'll probably put it away, never to be used again. But I'll get one. Okay. And then what you do with this one then after you after you've done that, you nearly crash into the harvester, but you uh just stick him in this place here. And then he'll well you and will unload when he next passes. And that sounded really horrible, dirty. Right. Um Yes. So let's get into our rain baler then. This is what this is what it's all about. Producing rain bales. We got a bit of spuds left. We got some spuds there for our tea. Looks like we're having baked potatoes for uh, for a month. Now this is a bit weird because you have to press a button to release it. So it's not automated as much as the uh, the square baler. How it just you know, flings out the back of the uh, the baler, but um, okay, here we go. I think these are bigger bales as well, so it takes more straw to produce one bale than it does for the square baler. So inside there, I think that rain thing that's going rain and rain and rain is like collecting all the straw, putting it into a big rain bale. Obviously. <laughs> um. Okay, here we go. So we just need to slow down because it starts bleeping and making all sorts of noises in a minute. If I can remember correctly. There we go. And that's not your computer, that's the baler. You gotta get to uh, 
There you go. I'm um, press a button. X. There we go. And there is your round baler. Bale. Okay, and then you press X to close. Reverse a little bit, I think, because... There we go. You don't want to miss any. And you start again. So it's a little bit more fiddly than the square bales, but... Uh, I think they look better on a on a on a field than the square bale for um, cosmetic purposes. If you had a, a field full of rain bales, oh my god! I thought I was going to crash. No, um, a field full of uh, rain bales, I think, look better than the square bales. I don't know. That's just me, but I'm a bit weird like that. So there we go, peeps. We are rain bailing. This is something we haven't done before. Oh. Seven, eight, ninety-nine, hundred. X. Yeah. Whoa. I thought that went for a... Just rolling, uh, rolling away then. Okay, Yoon's doing okay. That's a beautiful sight, isn't it? Bailing and harvesting and collecting straw with a forage wagon on one field. This is what dreams are made of, peeps. <laughs> I don't know whose dreams, but they <laughs> this is what they're made of. Uh, let's move the trailer. Let's jump into the Hurleyman. And if we park this truck here... Ewan should unload in a minute. When he gets to the end, if he's not going to hit me, no, I think we're okay. There we go, he'll wait until he's fully unloaded. There we go, and we can concentrate on something else. Look, more bailing! Uh, let's turn the bowler on. Let's go. So as you see, people, she can be fairly busy just working on one field. You know, with all this machinery that we got. You know, we've got what one, two, whoa, one, two, three tractors and a harvester working on one field, and that. Noise is annoying. Hundred. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll do one more, and then I think we'll end the episode. We've kind of uh, done everything that we planned out to do today. Like I say, keep your comments coming. What haven't you seen? What do you want to see? What do you want to explain? Um, you know, this is your time now, really, to uh, just let me know something that you're not quite sure of or it's taking you a long time to do something and I might have figured out a, an easier, quicker way of doing it. Um, and then maybe in the next episode after that, we'll look at some mods. And as you can see, I'm running out of fuel. 111 litres. Although 111 litres is, is still quite a lot of fuel to have. Um... It's a match-off between uh, Schusler and uh, Holyman. I've pronounced that very wrong, I know. Who'd win? There's only one person who goes, no, fuck! No, we don't want to fight tractors. That's uh, tractor pulling. We don't want to be doing that. All our hard-earned time and money has come into, these, uh, into this equipment. Okay. 
Okay, so we just load him up here. There we go. And let's get back to bailing. So this is pretty mu pretty much what I do off screen, guys. When uh, I'm sorting out a field, I'm just getting all the resources I need for the for the cows. Oh, stop. X. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, guys, thank you very much for watching. This is uh, Farming Simulator 2013 with me, Stocker Gloss. And this is rain baling and solar panel placing. <laughs> so, uh, please leave your likes, comments down below. And like I said, if there's anything that you're, not, you're unsure of in this game that you want me to explain a bit more, then uh, please leave your comments. And I'll try my very best to answer them for you in the next episode. So, um, have a good week and ciao for now.